Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we would talk about buffers and caches. So let's start. Table buffering in SAP ABAP is a concept in SAP ABAP tables, which enhances the performance from 10 to 100 times. And it also reduces the time of processing or accessing the table. A buffer is an interface between database layer and application layer. So there are different types of buffer so we have name tab and program buffer we have shared objects and we have sap table buffers so some do's and don'ts for table buffers is you should buffer your tables with data that is frequently read and rarely modified so normally it uh, can be configuration data and possibly a master data you should define an appropriate buffer type you have to use buffering type full for very small tables and for different access types use buffering type generic for accesses via generic primary key fields you can use buffering type single record for accesses via full primary key now things not to do would be being aware that there are statements that bypass the table buffer so you should not use buffers as if data is always up to date you should not use buffers on tables with more than one person changing access now few rules to access table buffers now first of all for generic buffering the generic key must be fully specified for single record buffering the primary key must be fully specified and you have to also note that for the primary generic key to be fully specified the where clause must contain conditions also the where clause must only contain and clause for buffer key fields also sap table buffers support only primary key accesses a non-primary key access to a fully buffered table causes a full table scan in the buffer so let's talk about statements that bypass the table buffer the following statements uh, implicitly bypass the SAP table buffers. So you should not be using these statements while accessing the buffer tables. So any aggregate function like count, min, max, joins in Opal SQL, subquery, order by option, group by option, having option, select distinct, for single record option for all entries, any negative SQL statement. And there are some statements that bypass the SAP table buffers explicitly simply that is a select bypass buffer select for update so talking about access to metadata you should use buffers and shared objects for accessing metadata in runtime so use correct ddif functions to access ddic information you also can build up shared objects buffer for repository data that is read at runtime do not use access non-buffered database table to read metadata at runtime so talking about read modules and data providers, you should use local data caches for read modules and data providers. So read modules are a must with support prefetch technique. It supports different access types to the data. It also supports access types with and without NQ protection. So these were the rules for buffers and caches. In the next video, we would be talking about more do's and don'ts. Stay tuned to this channel. So if you have any feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.